So if you've been to any independent garden center, you've seen purple feet, and I'm here with Fran, who is the inventor of the Steppables, came up with the whole concept and marketed it nationwide. Right. And what we're gonna do today, Fran, is talk about the top 10. You did a survey all over America, and the growers and, and sellers, these are the ones that are the best that work in all different situations. So let's just dig into it and start talking about all it. All right, all right. Well, we decided that we would make it easy for consumers to actually figure out what was the toughest plants for them in a heartbeat. One shot they could actually decide in one Because there's second. so many choices. There's 160 different plants. So it's kind of like going to a candy store where they have to pick and choose. We wanted to make it really easy for sure. them. So we came up with a tough 10. All right, well, let's do it. All right. First of all, we have our Sedum John Creech, and this is probably the most durable drought tolerant plant that we have. It's a short grower and grows in full sun. It'll grow in gravel. It'll do just about anything you want it to do and you can walk on it morning, noon, and night. Nice, nice. All right, and then we have Elfin Thyme, which is my favorite actually at the moment because it's what we uh, did our lawn substitution it's in. It's beautiful, yeah. And it's short and it's tight. It grows slower than the rest of the times, but it'll work tremendously well for a lawn substitution. Such a dense covering. Exactly. Too. This is Lotus Planus. This is actually a great plant for a slope really hugs the ground, grows by underground runners, nice, and then grows on, on top as well. So it gives you some erosion control. Exactly. It's beautiful. Woolly thyme is our basic. It's been around forever. It's a standby plant that everybody can grow. Um, it's just a really nice gray foliage plant. And great when you walk on it because yeah. it, it crushes and you have a great and fragrance. And it smells great. This is Mazus repens. This is a purple bloomer. Um, great right now. It's, it gets uh, full purple blooms. It'll do great around your daffodils, around your azaleas. It gives a nice really early bloom. And just a nice covering of carpet yeah. color and then green the rest of the, yeah. the time. And then, of course, this is our number one seller, Blue Star Creeper. Can't do wrong with it. It can't. It's true. I, everywhere you want to put it, this plant will bloom and it'll do great. And it's, it, it, again, a beautiful, dense mm -hmm. foliage. Now, of course, I love the, uh, the mosses The mosses. Here. And so we've gone from the sun, so now we're moving into the part shade areas. And you can do an Irish or Scotch moss. You can do a little checkerboard, which is really yeah, cute. Yeah, you can be crazy and do them both. Oh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> and, and, and the, the, you know, as much sun in the northwest as they can get, they'll really like that. They'll be much denser. You put yeah. them in shade, they'll get a little thinner. I have noticed that in the northwest. They, they really do handle our sun here. Oh, year tremendously so, yeah. well. Tremendously well. And then we have a Juga chocolate chip. It's a great bloomer, great for this time of year. Again, one of those plants that you could put under uh, any pine trees, any dug firs, anything like that would love that kind of soil. It's true. And, you know, they, they really give you the benefit of the beautiful foliage and these great blooms at this time of year. So oh, yeah. they're like a double bang. Uh, yeah, yeah. Plant. And then, of course, always Lismachia golden, which is a great container plant, great for shady areas, great for full sun areas. It'll actually stay really, it, really tight. True. And it can it can take water too. It, it, That's another it, bonus. It'll take it'll go into a drought area and it'll also go into a full uh, really uh, lots of water area. Just so a beautiful plant. all of these are tough ten plants that you could plant every single day, and your garden would absolutely adore it. So if you're getting tired of mowing your lawn and fertilizing it and all that other stuff, you know we would suggest you go into any of your independent garden centers. Almost all of us carry the steppable line. Talk to them, find out more information, and start putting your own beautiful tapestry of uh, ground covers into your yard. Thanks so much, Fran. Yeah.